ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here, back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3, Scenario 3, and we are... We're kind of boned, as I'm looking at it, aren't we? Just a little bit. I mean, Dawnhorn's probably going to die if that thing goes across the bridge, which I'm expecting it to. Because he's got the boss and a ghoul that he's going to have to contend with. I'm hoping if I send some of my force downward I can distract them long enough to not be a problem but I'm thinking he's going to come after me so let's equip the spear Attack the ghoul for no damage because Donhort has no rank in spear. And pray that the boss does not come after him. Oh god. Yeah, I can't I don't want to stop there. I want to And I can't heal Julian, who's still kind of damaged. And there's a killer fish over there now, so there's a good chance that I borked this. But it happens. It happens a lot. Alright, Cyclops' movement has returned to not being crappy. So hopefully we can get him into the front lines. Yeah, poison. Yeah, and he's going after Donhorn. Oh, this is just the worst kind of... Worst, worst kind of situation to be in. Isn't it? Ah. Uh... And of course I can't hit both of them with that. So drain it is. At least she can keep herself alive with this. Drain, my most favorite technique. Give me your HP so that I can sustain myself. You! Stop being a bastard. And I one-shotted the fish. It's... Oh, that's an utter destroy attack. Oh. Well then. Good to know. Alright, let's see if I can distract... Billy the Bastard long enough. I don't think I can. We're going to equip that and inspect and get the armor milk. And move the rest of my force down. Hopefully... able to actually do something. I'm... I'm 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 playing beat the clock now cuz I have to get Don Hort to a situation where he can survive and I don't think that's going to happen. Cuz he's going to get attacked by this ghoul again and there's that's probably going to kill him. No, the next attack his next turn will kill him, however. Alright. And I can't stand there, the bridge is... Really? That's what's making this fight such a pain in the ass. Alright, yeah, Don Hort, you're just gonna take one for the team.
trying I I want to keep him alive but it's it's just such a a, a lost cause he's gonna get attacked <sighs> there's not too much I can do but now I hopefully he the main boss is far enough on the other side that I might be able to move my force over and deal with these guys that way I have an opening to actually you know attack them but it's looking like I'm just gonna get kinda shafted and of course I don't have enough MP to actually cast spark 2 so I've got to just—I've got to rush over there and do what damage I can to them as quickly as possible. And I'm gonna heal Julian because he's probably gonna take the brunt of the attacks. This scenario is is considerably trickier, considering this is only battle five, and we have gotten into the the game is going to dick you over battles. But on the upside, we've made it to where Julian won't get hit by the boss. I'm not sure how much solace I take in that fact. Of course they can't move. And, well, no, no, Julian's gonna get attacked by the boss because... That ghoul went after Gracia. I love how the bad guys can stand on the, the blocks, but I can't. Hell Napalm? The hell was that? Alright, well I can hit all three of them, so there's at least one ghoul dead. I probably should have moved so that there was space for someone else to stand there. I was not thinking about that at all. The fact that Bridget is just kind of in the way of it. Uh, hey, but at least Julian gets a bonus against going into this guy. I need to heal Julian, like, right the hell now. And hey, Aura! That'll heal Julian and Gracia. Nothing on Bridget, of course. But Julia and Gracia are fine. And I can't attack. I can't attack, so we're just gonna leave you there. Ah, damn it! Alright, move Bridget. And poison of course big boss bad guy gets turn let's say can I move yes I can heal Julian and Isabella's gonna get smacked in the face but at least Julian won't die my friendship rating in this scenario is going to suck. I already see that happening now. You attacked me with an axe. At least it wasn't that special attack that was just ten kinds of dick. Alright, you have... 
no MP to do anything, so you're just gonna attack! Because I need to do damage to things. Thankfully, you can actually do damage to things. Alright. I am sick and freaking tired of you! I'm going to do what I can to end you! Sadly, not enough, but level up to 9, and aura level 2 with that, so that was well worth it, even though that Gracie is now out of MP. I wish I could take all of the uh, healing rain items that I, or uh, all the goddess tiers that I've had from scenarios 2 and 3. That would make this so much easier. So I just give them all to Gracia. And what will I drop for the potion? I'll drop a healing drop. Mostly because I don't want to deal with that fight anymore. I could have killed the other two ghouls. He's still moving. hell is he doing? He shot his arm cannon up into the air, causing a cave-in that blocked that path. So now we get to go to the Dragon Graveyard. Yay! Do we at least get something in between the fights? No, no, so I'm gonna have to go back and resurrect Don Hort. At least now I've got some items to use for HP and... I... Uh... Yeah, that's the only way we can go now, so... Be brave, Julian. You don't ha need to worry about me being brave. I'm gonna take on a Vandal. I'm either brave or stupid or probably a little bit of both. Don't need to worry about me. I'm like a honey badger. A honey badger don't care. Alright, Dragon Graveyard. Be prepared. Do, 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 do. Anyway. When a dragon is nearing the end of his life, it comes here. Death calls whomever dares to visit. Yes, yes it is. There are dragon guardians who protect the graveyard, and they will not take our presence lightly. Well, you're a dragon man, can't you tell them just to leave us the hell alone? Yes. Well, maybe, but they probably won't listen to me. And there's Jane! Because we said yes, this scene happened. Uh, when she took Goriate, uh, the fact that we said yes, she appears here to give us uh, a new Force member. And she was worried about us. She's making no sense. Like, she's so bipolar. The Bullzone Sector using the dragons here to prevent invaders from reaching the castle. So now Cyclops can't convince the dragons that we're not bad guys. 
I love that they will listen to me. Cyclops, watch out as it breathes fire on you. And the dragon flies off. Thankfully, Don Hort, who's actually dead, saved him. And Cyclops is pretty much useless, except for just fighting. And he's pissed off because uh, he's kind of their cousin. The more time we lose, the more time the Bullzone sect grows. I haven't thanked you yet for sparing Goriate. This is Rolly. She's a unicorn and the only friend I have. Yes, of course we'll take. Any addition to the force is welcome. Rolly the unicorn, join the force. And for all intents and purposes, Rolly is a centaur. Obviously, she's a horse. Uh, her horn counts as lance-type weapons with all of its strengths and weaknesses. And her movement is pretty much the same as a centaur. Besides, Julian isn't interested in her. That's because Kate's interested in Julian. I love how Brisby is just, like, making fun of all of us. But at my age, no one ever. Anyway, forever alone, Brisby. Forever alone, Brisby. Alright, so, let's take a look at Roley. Said pretty much a centaur. But with magic. Has some very useful magic spells that we will get to see. And the first thing I'm going to do is aggress out of this fight so that I can resurrect Don Hort. Antidote and Charm, Unicorn Horn, uh, primary weapon, uh, HP of 48, MP of 21, attack of 53, defense of 32, agility of 23, luck of 5, movement of 7. So yes, very good movement. Uh, bad guys that we get to encounter here, we have more Bloodborns, more Ghouls, more fishies the and the helm crabs we have green dragon uh, HP of 60 attack of 54 defense of 27 agility of 12 luck of 5 movement of 6 and there's supposed to be something else in here that's of note but I don't see it And I'm pretty sure that's the thief ruins that we have to get to. So there's a section up there. And where is it? Somewhere around here is a white dragon. I just can't see it. May not have appeared yet. But there that's one of the ways to win the battle is to have Cyclops talk to the white dragon. I don't see it anywhere. Alright, so we have to have Cyclops talk to the White Dragon. Uh, and the dragon's name is Thousand. That's one that we can... If we talk to it with Cyclops, the dragon will join us. Uh, 
or by killing it. If you talk to Thousand after the battle, he will join Julian's force. So we can talk to him with anyone. He'll join the force, but he'll be uncontrollable. If we talk to him with Cyclops, um, or no, if we kill him with Cyclops, he joins as an uh, NPC. So if we kill him, he won't join us. If we uh, kill him with Cyclops, he joins as an NPC, or if we talk to him as Cyclops, he joins as a controllable character. So we want to talk to him as Cyclops. So that's what we're going to do. But we're going to save this fight for the next video. Like I said, I'm going to egress and take care of some things. And Julian's poisoned. I screwed that up majorly. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next installment uh, in which I take care of all of the stuff off screen and we come back to this fight. So, till then, later everyone.